So as we continue on our journey this Lent, we're, we're inviting you to really think about the Stations of the Cross. And, and the reason why is we want to invite you to, to journey with Jesus, to see his journey to the cross, to put yourself in there and to understand how great the love is that Jesus has for you. You know, and so today I want to look at the first station, look at how Jesus can, is condemned by Pilate. You know, and we think about this, and, and sometimes we might think just, okay, it's just the simple act of Pilate telling Jesus, you're going to the cross. But first and foremost, when, when Jesus comes to Pilate, he, he beats him. He sends him out away to be beaten. And, you know, and, and the Romans were expert torturers, so when they would torture someone, they knew exactly how much it took to take someone just to, 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 to the point of death without killing them. And so they would whip the person with, with this cat of nine tails that would literally pull the flesh of the person they were beating. Um, and they would take turns from one side to the other side, just hitting Jesus and pulling at him, pulling at his flesh, pulling at his back. You know, and so when Jesus would come back to Pilate, he would almost look unrecognizable as a human being because he had been so beaten. He was so uh, torn up by, by this being, being whipped. And it's at this moment that Pilate takes Jesus out in front of the crowd and he says, behold the man. And I love, I love that, that passage because I think as we start to think about the different stations of the cross, as Jesus progresses on the way to Calvary to ultimately his death, we behold the man. We see the love of God with flesh on in Jesus. We see how much he loves us what he's willing to do, what he's willing to go through, and he's willing to do that because of you, because of the love that he has for you. His thought, what gets him through, is the thought of you, the thought of the love that he has for you. So as he's unjustly condemned to die and, and starts on this path to his death, his thought turns to you. And so I invite you to turn your thought to the cross. The rest of this Lent to really enter in and allow God to speak to you, to, to speak his love to you. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Amen.